In today's video, we're going to review the 14 most commonly used medications for the treatment of heart failure in dogs and cats. This information is not meant to be a substitute for veterinary care. The medications discussed in today's video can be divided into six groups of veterinary drugs. These groups are vasodilators, diuretics, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, positive inotropes, and calcium channel blockers. Nitroglycerin ointment relaxes vascular smooth muscle via the generation of nitric oxide. Nitroglycerin is used primarily in heart failure or pulmonary edema to reduce preload or decrease pulmonary hypertension. Nitroglycerin ointment is applied to the pet's skin, often in the groin or axillary area or inside the ear flap. The use of gloves is recommended while applying this medication to the patient's skin. Isosorbide denitrate is another nitro vasodilator that relaxes venous smooth muscle. This pharmacological compound is absorbed orally. Isosorbide denitrate is also used to reduce preload in patients with congestive heart failure. Diuretics help your pet to get rid of excess fluids that accumulate on the thorax and abdomen. They also make it easier for the heart to pump and regulate blood pressure. The most common diuretics used in cases of heart failure are furosemide and spironolactone. Furosemide is usually the most effective of all diuretics and it's the first choice of treatment in cases of heart failure. Furosemide belongs to the loop diuretic group. Spironolactone belongs to the potassium sparing group. Spironolactone is used for treating high blood pressure and congestion caused by heart failure. It is considered the standard therapy for the treatment of congestive heart failure caused by valvular disease. Spironolactone is not commonly used in cats because it tends to produce skin dermatitis. Plus, it seems to not offer any benefits in the treatment of feline hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Chlorothiazide and hydrochlorothiazide are diuretics that sometimes are used in conjunction with furosemide for refractory heart failure cases. The adverse side effects of these two drugs are usually related to excessive fluid and electrolyte losses. Enalapril, benazapril, and lisinopril are members of the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors group. These drugs dilate blood vessels and moderate excess hormone activity that occurs with heart failure, resulting in less resistance in the blood vessels against which the heart must pump. These drugs have improved clinical signs of heart failure and prolonged survival rates in several studies. An ACE inhibitor may be the only drug needed early in the disease process. The specific drug used and the individual pet's condition determines the dose and frequency of administration. These drugs can be given with a full or empty stomach. Adverse effects of ACE inhibitors could include vomiting or diarrhea, deterioration of kidney function, the elevation of potassium levels, or low blood pressure. Atenolol and propanolol belong to the group of medications called beta blockers. They antagonize the effects of the sympathetic nervous system and thereby slow the heart rate, reduce the heart's oxygen demand, and help to control certain heart rhythm disturbances. Beta blockers can be used with digoxin to slow the heartbeat of dogs with atrial fibrillation. Beta blockers can be useful in cats with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and in animals with certain congenital heart malformation. Adverse side effects are usually related to excessive beta blockade. Individual animals vary considerably in their response to these drugs. For that reason, Low doses are used initially and slowly increased to effect. The dosage and frequency of administration also depend on the drug used. Adverse effects can include excessively slow heart rate, low blood pressure, bronchospasm, and depression. These medications can also mask the early signs of hypoglycemia in diabetic pets. 
Digoxin is a positive inotropic agent that mildly strengthens heart muscle contractions. It also moderates the excess neurohormonal activity that occurs with heart failure and helps control certain heart rhythm abnormalities. This drug is not necessarily indicated for use in every case of heart failure. Digoxin is best given on an empty stomach since food as well as antacids and kaolin pectin compounds decrease drug absorption. Digoxin's adverse effects include heart rhythm disturbances, anorexia, vomiting, diarrhea, and depression, reduced kidney function, dehydration, loss of lean muscle mass, low potassium levels, and certain drugs can increase the potential for adverse effects. For these reasons, Monitoring the drug's blood concentration is recommended, especially after making a dosage change. Digoxin needs to be stopped immediately if the patient shows signs of adverse reactions. Diltiazem is a calcium channel blocker that is used to help control certain heart rhythm disturbances and to promote heart muscle relaxation in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, especially in cats. In dogs with atrial fibrillation, it may be used with digoxin to slow the rate of heartbeats. Adverse heart effects are uncommon at standard doses, but can include decreased appetite, slow heart rate, and gastrointestinal problems. Did you find this information on this video useful? Please help us bring this information to veterinarians and veterinary students in other countries by giving us a thumbs up and by sharing this video with your friends and family. By doing so, you are also helping us to train the veterinarians of tomorrow.